everyone how's it going welcome back to another walking dead video so in this one here i wanted to talk about something that we actually learned in an article from tv line and it is regarding the ones who live finale and uh we actually learned some new information on it and uh honestly it has me very very concerned but yeah we'll get into exactly what this is here so before we go any further obviously make sure to be a subscriber if you do want to get all my walking dead content like this and yeah i mean let's just get into this here so i saw this in a tweet here from at t walking d world on twitter and uh this post here is regarding well this is what the post says regarding the future of hashtag the ones who live tv line provides some insight the finale is described as extremely moving and requiring tissues and so when you actually look at, uh, I guess, what the post here is quoting from uh, TV line, it says, there's a question here. Is there going to be a season two of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live? And I guess someone who's watched the episode or whatever responded with, um, as yet, there has been no official word from AMC that the limited part of the limited series will be removed. But Sunday's finale certainly leaves the door open for a continuation of the story. Whether this really is the end, the end. We suspect longtime fans of the franchise will find it extremely moving. Keep those tissues handy, folks. Additionally, the episode is peppered with several mini montages of memorable moments involving Rick and or Michonne from over the years. So there's a lot to break down in here. Uh, first of all, it seems like the confirmation that we do have here is it looks like the story is going to end in a way here where it does set up a continuation of the story. So I think that makes sense in terms of the CRM arc and how big a lot of that is, because a lot of us have said, like, there's no way they're going to wrap this all up in in one episode. Like, it's kind of impossible, right? So I think that, you know, the fact that it's going to end in a way that certainly leaves the door open for a continuation of that story is is a very good thing. So that's the good part about this here, right? It says that the finale certainly leaves the door open for a continuation of the story. So I don't know if that means that, uh, I mean, I guess I have a, a couple of ideas. So we'll talk about that in a second here, but let's focus on the next part here, which says whether this really is the end, the end, we suspect longtime fans of the franchise will find it extremely moving. Keep those tissues handy, folks. So when you focus on that part there, it says whether this really is the end, the end, um, you know, so I guess it's going to end in a way where there is a conclusion, and I'm I'm assuming that this person is sort of interpreting that as like whether this really is the end, the end. Well, no, that makes no sense because they're 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 immediately saying right away we suspect longtime fans are going to find this really moving. So I think that what that means is there's not really an ending. Like there is an ending, but there's not really an ending. So we don't know if this is really going to be the end. But you know, fans that are or longtime fans of the franchise are going to find it extremely moving. So there's probably going to be some sort of conclusion to the story because obviously in every season there's some sort of conclusion to the season right so there's going to be a conclusion in some way but it doesn't look like it's it's going to be very conclusive like that's the thing about regarding this is it doesn't look like the story is for sure for sure done especially when you think of what andrew lincoln said in that interview before the before the show started right or maybe episode one or two aired at that point but he said that he likes to look at this show as, you know, it can stand on its own, but also as well that this can be a chapter to the story or something like that. I don't remember exactly how he phrased it. He might have said that first and then also said that this also could stand on its own with a dot, dot, dot afterwards. So I think that however this ends, it's going to end in a way where, yeah, it sort of ends, I think, the Rick and Michonne reunion story. But there's also going to be that possibility to to do more stories here, right? And then. You get to the next part here and it says, additionally, the episode is peppered with several mini montages of memorable moments involving Rick and or Michonne from over the years. So I think what that tells me is this, again, it literally says, keep those tissues handy. So it's going to be a very emotional episode, it seems like. Like, I think this episode is going to be one that really does, I think, cause all of us to be completely emotional the entire time. And I will say, uh, like, that could be in a way to sort of set up the end here, obviously. Um, But it's mini montages, so it's not going to be like these really crazy scenes. And first of all, this episode has to be a little bit longer. But if you think about the way they've used like these mini montages throughout the season, it is like half a second clips, right? Or it's like one or two seconds long. Like, I remember the, the stuff with Carl was just like literally one shot of Carl for a second or two. And even with Jadis, right, they would do the same thing. So I think there will probably be things like that. Or maybe there's a scene where it's like, I don't know, like just something of some sort of moment at some point, right? Uh, that That's sort of my prediction there. But, you know, the fact that we're going to be really crying and whatnot, that does have me a little bit concerned. And 
the reason why I'm concerned is I I really can't get this out of, out of my mind right now, but I'm really concerned that Michonne might die. They are really hinting at it. They are really hinting at it. And I'm really hoping that that doesn't happen, obviously, but I am just, I don't know, I've been so, so concerned about it because there is a lot here. So first of all, there's all these mini montages showing Rick and Michonne together, right? To me, that is like, I that's so like gimple in terms of writing, right? He always writes stuff like that where it's like he'll flash back to this moment and what this moment meant. And it's really highlighting all these really happy times of them being together and all that, right? And I think that stuff's going to make you feel very like, just like obviously very emotional. But if Michonne is about to die and she has to die or something like that, looking at all these moments, we're going to be upset. We're all going to be crying. It's going to be absolutely insane, like really insane right and again i don't know what else this means like why else would we be crying is it going to be happy crying in terms of they actually get back home and it's so like amazing to see rick with judith and rj like i guess i could see that happening but i don't think that would be the thing throughout the entire episode so i just feel like there's going to be something here that is sort of setting up michonne's death i don't know again I i'm talking about it here but i also like really don't believe it but there's so much here in the episode that is just making me so, so concerned about it. Honestly, so concerned about it because I'm wondering if that is the end of the story here. Maybe Rick does make it back home, but it is without Michonne. And so there's some sort of, you know, emotional element to that. I don't know. I really don't know how this is going to go because I also haven't heard of any sort of filming of any kind with like Judith and RJ, but I've also like, we never knew that Gabriel was going to be a part of all this. So there is that there's a possibility that obviously they filmed some stuff secretly that we just don't know of. But man, when you really look at the possibility of Michonne's death, it really is. It's, it's almost like it was right in front of us the entire time, right? When you think of Okafor and what he had to do you know, to further the CRM cause, or not to further the CRM cause, but to change the CRM, right? Like, he wanted to support the CRM, but also change it from within. Okafor has almost been, like, the moral compass of this show, and there's just been these little moments of Rick and Michonne together and how happy they've been. Like, Rick and Michonne have been just so happy, like, way too happy, right? Episode 4, they really... Like, Michonne helped Rick come back to who he was, right? Episode 5, it was so, so happy. He even proposed to her at the end. Like, it's too positive, and again, I mentioned that in my, my last video that I did, that it's almost like they're building to something here. Like, I just feel that tension growing here in the show. And not only that, but we actually got the teaser images that were released today, and we see Michonne with Major General Beale's sword. Now, am I supposed to believe that Major General Beale's just gone? Like, he just dies just like that? No, I really don't think he's going to die in this episode. I think if he dies, honestly, I will be very, very upset because there's no way a character like that can just go. Like, he was so hyped up forever. We finally got him. It's Terry O'Quinn. He's barely had any scenes here. Even if he has a really awesome scene here in the finale and he dies right away, that's so rushed. Like, that is so beyond rushed. I will, I will actually rant about it. <laughs> I will. You know, I, I won't be happy about that because I want that character to be a bigger part of a lot of this here. Like, he needs to be a much bigger part of the story here, and I want to see a lot more scenes with the character. Like, just, like, one-on-one -on -one time with the character, you know? So, I don't think when we've seen Michonne with uh, the sword that she's just, like, killed Major General Beale. Like, that doesn't make a lot of sense to me because, um, again, story-wise, like, I don't know, you kill someone like that, and then all of a sudden you're able to just, like, walk around the CRM afterwards, right? Like, there would be like crazy alarms going off and a bunch of stuff happening. Like it wouldn't be that simple. So I do think she probably just found the sword or something like that. Like it's going to be something very simple where somehow she gets it right. Um, But again, like I don't know, uh, like there's still the talk of Alexandria being destroyed. So maybe that happens instead of Michonne's death. I could see that happening, but it's just, I worry about that. I really do worry about the, the fact that maybe this show ends with Michonne's death. And it's something that I can't get out of my mind. I'm honestly trying to convince myself to, to not believe it. Maybe it's just anxiety. You know, maybe it's just anxiety about all of this that is sort of getting to me here. But I, um, I, I'm again, I'm trying to make myself think otherwise. But when you just read this quote again, so I'll go over this quote again, and let's just sort of look at what this could mean here. So the question here is, is there going to be a season two of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live? And the quote is, as yet, there has been no official word from AMC that the limited part of the limited series will be removed, but Sunday's finale certainly leaves the door open to a continuation of the story. Whether this really is the end the end, we suspect longtime fans of the franchise will find it extremely moving. Keep those tissues handy, folks. Additionally, the episode is peppered with uh, several mini montages of, and then yeah, just that part there. So when I'm looking at this, like, personally to me, this tells me that 
The episode is going to be very, very emotional. We're going to be so very emotional about whatever is happening. And the story is left open-ended, it looks like. So um, I don't know what that could mean. Like, are we going to be so, so emotional to see Rick and Michonne reunite with their kids? I don't know if we'll be that emotional about it where we need, like, the tissues and it's like this whole thing throughout the whole episode. Like, yes, that will be emotional and people will be crying, but like to be that emotional about it, I don't know if that's that's sort of, at least for me personally, I don't know if I'd get that emotional about it where I'm like so upset the entire episode kind of thing, right? Like I don't see that sort of being the case. It doesn't say here that you're going to be upset the whole episode, but it does just seem like something's going to happen here that um, I feel like it could be more like bittersweet, you know, like you're upset because of someone's death or something happened and maybe there was some sort of victory. So you're happy, but you're just overall so emotional. Like maybe they destroyed the CRM base. You did save lives and all of that. Michonne saved lives, right? And uh, Rick reunites with his kids, but Michonne died. Like something like that, your emotions are going to be everywhere, right? It's not going to be just like, you're so happy about this or, or whatever. You're going to be so sad that like Michonne died and all that. That's if she dies. You know, like there is that one line too that Rick said in episode four that, you know, without you, I die. Like stuff like that is what makes me scared. Like <laughs> there's so much dialogue here that I'm like, uh, you combine it with the fact that the story has been so positive, you know, like it's just very concerning. It is. Nothing's ever this positive. And that's the thing, too. Scott Gimple said that. Scott Gimple actually said that in episode Insider after episode five. He said that he was so happy to basically give them these moments in episode four and five before basically something bad's going to happen, right? Because a bunch of stuff's going to happen in the finale here. So is it just going to be, you know, they find out stuff about what they're planning to do with Portland? There's a bunch of fighting and all that, and they're fighting this character and all that. And it basically just ends with them defeating the CRM and going back home. Like, again, that's still too happy and, and positive. Yes, there's going to be, like, a bunch of action scenes and all of that and whatever, but that's still, like, I don't know. I, I think there's going to be more. I think it's going to end a little bit darker. And also, Michonne has always said the entire season here that there has to be a sacrifice. So I don't know if Michonne is going to sacrifice herself here. Could she be the hero to the story here, to the first season? Like, this is Michonne's season here where she is the hero to all of this. She found Rick. She brought Rick home. Uh, you know, there's that one shot where she's holding Nat's lighter. Like, does she take down the CRM and sort of like, you know, sacrifices herself, takes down the entirety of, not the entirety of the CRM, because obviously there's still the, the, the base in Philadelphia and all of that, right? But she takes down this base right here. She frees Rick from this in some sense anyway. She's able to go back home. There's obviously going to be more to this here, right? There's some stuff with the dossier and all that. Like, is that where we're going here? Because, uh, man, like, you just focus on some of the dialogue and some of the stuff that has been mentioned throughout this season, and it has been that. It hasn't been the other way around where Michonne has been scared about Rick's death, and there hasn't been anything about, like, Rick having to die. And then you look at what Okafor said about, you know, what he had to do and, and sort of his wife dying and all that. I just, you know, and also you just look at the circumstances, you know, surrounding Michonne. She's in that place and she's not supposed to be. She's not supposed to be at that CRM base, right? Like that's for, you know, uh, CRM soldiers or just any sort of soldiers of a specific ranking, right? And Michonne's not supposed to be there. So she's sneaking around and all of that. Like, I just, I don't know. I am just, you know, I think I'll end this video in, in more of a positive uh, place. I really wanted to talk about this because... I am concerned about it. And I, I again, I just kind of did the video talking about it because I was like, well, you know, there's an episode airing. It's a finale. What if uh, this character dies? Like, it was just, you know, just like we do every single season kind of thing. And then it got to the point when, I, you know, I started to bring up all the points that I was making. And I was like, is there something more here? And then we get the teaser images today. And I was just like, wait, what's uh, what's Michonne doing there with Beale's sword? That's concerning. And there's that whole story that Beale told with the sword. And um, and then we get this here. And I, it's going to be really emotional. There's going to be a lot of moments showing Rick and Michonne together. And this whole thing has been celebrating them. And if it ends with Michonne's death, it could be sort of a, I don't know. I could see how this could still be a really epic story in terms of, you know, Michonne was the hero of this story here and saved Rick, right? Again, I could see how people are going to be so, so emotional about that. And then in terms of doing a season two, that could be why they haven't really announced a season two yet is because a season two would focus on Rick. And uh, I guess maybe if Morgan shows up and then like maybe, you know, maybe he's reunited with Judith and RJ and um, then you just kind of go forward from there and just whatever that story would be, however that looks. But that's that's my thing, too, is like Michonne's such a big part to all of it. It really depends on how how they end some of this stuff and just where the story is. So 
I, I'm going to say that I don't think Michelle's going to die, but I'm really worried. Uh, like, I can't say 100% with confidence that I don't believe it, obviously. Um, so I am concerned about it. All I'll say is there is no way this story is ending with the CRM defeated, Rick and Michelle make it back home, and everything's all good. There's no way that's how this episode goes, because that is way too positive, way too happy. Everything went so perfectly for these characters all season long. That would be, like, there's no possibility of that, in my opinion. So there's going to be loss of some kind here. I'm just hoping that that, that loss is Alexandria, because they've sort of been teasing that they might wipe out a community and stuff, right? Or at least that's been a concern all season long. So unless maybe Michonne saves Alexandria because of what she does, I don't know. I, I really don't know. But there's there's going to be something here that obviously I think is going to be pretty heartbreaking. And the montages of Rick and Michonne being together throughout the episode is what has me so concerned combined with everything else. Anyways, post all your thoughts down below. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.